I'm Barb Mitchell coming to you today from the floor of Data Cloud Global Congress here in beautiful Monaco. And joining me is Marcus Spickerman, SVP of Stationary Hydrogen at Bosch. Welcome. It's, a, it's an honor to have you here. Uh, we're excited to chat with you. Can, you. can we start just by hearing from you a little bit on, let's just start and dive right in into some of your stationary hydrogen solutions. Absolutely. Well, first of all, it's a pleasure for me to be here. Thank you very much for the invitation. Yeah. Well, yes, I mean, most of you will know Bosch as one of the largest tier one automotive suppliers. Yet hydrogen is truly one of our main growth fields for the future. Um, and Bosch is driving the development of the hydrogen economy overall truly with conviction. So from the production of hydrogen with our PEM electrolysis stacks and smart modules mm -hmm. through the transport of hydrogen, storage of hydrogen, where we offer compressor solutions to make and use of hydrogen, our mobile and stationary fuel cells. So for Bosch, hydrogen truly is one of the main growth fields and we want to develop into one of the main uh, technology providers for the newly emerging hydrogen economies. Mm -hmm. And uh, as a matter of fact, for us specifically, when we look into stationary fuel cells, data centers are one of our main use cases that we see. And that is why we're so happy to be here today. Yeah, and I, I think it, it is a big topic. There's mm -hmm. there's so much talk around you know sustainability and, and new energy sources for data centers. Tell us a little bit about this stationary hydrogen and, and how it will, um, why it's important to the data center industry, first of all, and mm -hmm. then what it will take, you know, for the industry to adopt this. Absolutely widely. love to. Well, first of all, I think what is generally an important topic for the data center industry is uh, to truly leverage um, uh, renewable energies. And when I say leverage, it's yeah. not only, you know, certificates or PPAs, but truly making sure the energy really comes from green resources. Now, hydrogen in this context plays a vital role because it can be fully produced from green resources, so fully green hydrogen. It can be transported, it can be stored, so from that perspective, making a lot of sense. And it can be used on site to really produce energy. Now, for the data center industry, when you produce energy on site, there's a couple of benefits. On the one hand side, it makes you independent of the traditional grid. So if this falls out, you don't have an issue. Secondly, you are not having transformation losses that you have when you have long transport routes. On the modular side as well, so to say, the more you can so the modularize data centers and make sure that you are not using resources you don't need from the beginning because you only scale to the amount you truly have. That goes mm -hmm. true for both right. the data center itself as well as power generation. Also there, I think there's huge benefits in this regard. So hydrogen from our perspective is truly a very good mean to decarbonize data centers. Right, yeah. I mean, I, I, do, I think that that's um, such a big topic for people just in terms of, you know, how are we getting to net zero and on all of this? Mm -hmm. And part of that is this decarbonization. But so how do we apply this to data centers in terms of, you know, potentially other energy sources? Well, you know, I think overall there is, of course, a couple of different energy sources you could use. I know when I look here at the fair, you also have uh, these small medium reactors, SMRs, and so on and so forth. I think there's always discussions also about, for example, water positivity because I need cooling water. And when it goes back to the rivers, what temperature does it have, and so on and so forth. These are all things you don't have with hydrogen. Now, when we talk about, you know, how do we apply this? For us, it's a lot about, you know, decentral energy generation, so really taking the power generation to the data center. And as I said, that gives you a couple of benefits. On the one hand side, it makes you independent of the, of the main grid, so it really prevents you from outages. Yeah. On the other hand side, it gives you a lot of operational benefits in terms of not having transformation losses and so on and so forth. And that is something that you can do with hydrogen because it is not like other renewable energies, you know, it is just there or it is not, but you can store it, you can actually then sort of say transport it, so it is exactly where you need it. Yeah, we, I mean, I think that for a lot of data center operators that, that we speak to, it's, it's, there's a lot of, you know, desire to move in this direction. And, yeah. and then the question is, is how, and how will we measure success? And, you know, what will that look like for us as, as a business? So if you could, if, if there's not to put you on, on the spot, but, you know, do you have any suggestions for where people can start with this in order to decarbonize their data center? What's yeah. the best way to get started? Well, I think, first of all, um, what I think many of the data centers provided today face, and that's what we see in our discussions, is, is generally a strong customer demand for actually, right. you know, really green energy that is being used. And we're not talking certificates or PPAs, but truly green. So from that perspective, when you think about, okay, how can I sort of say, uh, make use of that? Um, when you think about, as I said, 
for example, the edge data center industry, modular data centers that are coming up more and more today, then you, of course, have, have always the benefit that you can say, okay, when I think about power generation for this, I set this up, I really go into power generation on site. And we are more than happy here at the fair or also actually through our other means of communication to help providers with TCO calculations, how to set this up, what can we offer. So the solutions we offer today are easily scalable. They come in 100 kilowatt sizes, so you can easily scale them up according to your demand. You don't have to oversize from the beginning. You don't need high investments to actually start with. And actually, we're more than happy to jointly with you develop a program actually as to how you can adopt this. That's perfect. Thank you for that. That was so clear and, and such a good roadmap. And I I would anticipate that many of our viewers will want to connect with you, you know, and, and have further conversations and, and carry this on. Mm. Where can they connect with you? How can they find you? Well, the good thing is we're here at the fair. So whoever yeah. is here, actually, of course, please feel free to come by. We're more than happy to see you. Secondly, we have a very good website set up. It's actually www.bosch-hydrogen-energy.com. So you can go there. Actually, you can find the right contact persons within our organization. And as I said, I think the best thing always is because every site is different to actually jointly come together and really make a TCO calculation right. and uh, talk about, you know, what can we offer? How can we do it? Yeah, build the roadmap together. Absolutely. Yeah, I love that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. Hopefully we get to talk again soon. Uh, and thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV Live, coming to you today from the floor of Data Cloud Global Congress. Until next time.